God, we are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Now, how do you pronounce your name? Nice. Well, welcome to the show. They call you the king of Afro beats right now. <laughs> it was just as if you guys want to kill me right now. And how does it feel now for, for you? Because you, you got two huge records that are, are, are bigger overseas, but they're, they're growing bigger and bigger here. Um, yesterday I was just thinking, what was the best moment in 2019 in my music career so far? Uh, I have done so many things, and even myself, I don't know. <laughs> uh, because I remember I started this year with the uh, Afro Bone, which is, was extended play EP. And then I had the biggest artist from different angles of Africa. I had a Bunny Boy, I had a Yuma Lade, I had a Mr. Easy in the same project that was a powerful project. Uh, shout out to them and shout out to everybody who supported that. And then after that, I used to shut it down there two stadiums shows. The one was Sungaya and another one was in Toronto. It's, it's Every time I played on the, on the Breakfast Club, people are, they don't know who you are or what it is, but they just love the music. It just what feels it? good. I'm happy. So if you ask me which one's the best song to maintain, serious quest to tell you that. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Money can only help you, but so far. Biggest moment. And... After that, after my shows, imagine the South Sudan government, they decided that um, in Tanzania that he wants to come to uh, South Sudan, he doesn't need any visa. Before that, to go to a visa, to request a visa then, or when you're alive or you know, for your visa. But after my concert, uh, they don't need visa anymore. Imagine how God is good. So uh, that was a good moment. Um, and you know, it's the year that I decided to get married with my worth that much money. What made you get into music and not take on pop business? Uh, I have done so many things, and even myself, like, I don't know <laughs> if, if they don't know what, like, what, what can they expect? I know, and I promise you, so many things, Vinokuja on the way, so music, more activations, um, more shows, more awards. Uh, by the way, shout out to MTV and my nominees. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Yeah. So make sure you go and vote for your Yesh, vote for East African Ambassador. My love, Kondi Boys, for everybody. They call me Yeshi. All right. <laughs> well, love.